In the world of the goddess Wallows, women are blessed with strength and good looks and men with good luck after sex. The women become a paladin and participate in battle and the men support paladins as cavaliers. Knight, a son of a blacksmith, is a boy with a very strong libido. Maybe too strong. This is the manga series Sacred Cavalier. Kite was the son of a blacksmith, and like all boys his age, tend to look at the girls with perverted thoughts. But Kite was different. In this world, men only go into heat once or twice a month. Kite was horny all the time. A former paladin identifies him after a summer test as a cavalier candidate and encourages him to join the Royal Academy in the capital to become a royal cavalier. After training with her for two years, he goes to the academy and quickly stands out in two ways. One, he tests higher than anyone else has. And two, he stands out in the way that he shows that he's a total horn dog. And the woman he finds can't get enough. And so, his school life begins with his crotch leading the way. Good thing he can back up his groin with his knowledge of tactics. Sacred Cavalier jumps straight to the point and has Kite be literally the horniest male in the land. Where others have to take drugs that will eventually kill them to keep it up, Kite has no problem. So this is the basic idea of Sacred Cavalier, as it seems to be a horn dog's wet dream. Lots of women and lots of jealous men who see him only as a threat. Sacred Cavalier is another one of those manga series that does not require a big brain to wrap your head around the story. Though it does a good job at putting an actual story with action and death along with instilling in the MC that it is not just his crotch that has to improve and get the girls, but his brain too. The series Sacred Cavalier is based on a light novel and started in December of 2019, but only has 13 chapters of two volumes translated into English at this time. You would figure with the subject matter that it would be popular and have a lot more chapters than just once a month. Sacred Cavalier is a teenager's wet dream, and even with that, it is still a good read, with the artwork being more refined and detailed than you would think of a typical 18 plus manga would be. That's all again for another lesser known quality manga series. Hit that like button and come back again for more of the same. Whether you like ecchi, isekai, or just plain rom-coms, I hope to give you guidance and point out the stuff to read. Thanks again. Bye.